Hi, I'm Carsten. I'm a PhD candidate at the Technical University of Hamburg, and my subject area are FPGAs. One of the things that I notice when working especially with students is that learning how to program FPGAs is very hard, and this is mostly due to the frustrating languages that are used today. And for this I created a new language that's called PSHDL, the Plain Simple Hardware Description Language. And how you can get started with this, to even today, on a browser, I want to show you now. The code editor of pshdl.org is very powerful. It not just supports syntax highlighting, but also features like folding or um, shortcuts like Ctrl D for deleting a line. Also, the um, dirty modification is based on the checksum of the contents and not just on the modifications. Of course, it also supports undo and uh, you can press Ctrl S for saving. But the most powerful feature is uh, that you can actually start the simulation um, in your browser. And for this, you can get your blinking LED in a few seconds from starting. Another cool feature of the online editor is that you have a synthesis settings file. This contains a board that you want to download the program to, and it also specifies which module you want to place onto the board. And you can also select um, which pin the signal should be assigned to by using a simple drop down like this. And if you want to see where the pin actually is located, you can go to a graphical view where you can see that this button, for example, is used as a reset and this pin is used for the LED. In this case, the clock is coming from the other side. Um, you can highlight it here. You can even trigger the synthesis from within the browser, and if you have a local client attached, you can even start programming the PSHDL board. But having a user-friendly IDE isn't everything. You also need to have a board that you can have some fun with, so that you don't have to think about, hmm, what I'm going to do with it. So we created the PSHDL board. It's a board with eight edges and four connectors, and each of those connectors you can attach an LED arm to it. And each of those LED arms has four LEDs on it that you can control individually. Those are RGB LEDs so that you can create fancy colors. And when you get bored with just shining and blinking some LEDs, you can actually interconnect them horizontally like this. And if you get even bored by this, then you can start connecting them vertically like I'm doing with this. So, what do we do when we're not working on PSHDL? Well, we're working on a mission to the moon. We are part of the team called Part-Time Scientists, which is aiming for sending a rover to the moon as participant in the Google Lunar X Prize. And for this, we created all our own electronics. So, we have years of experience with working with tight schedules and getting things done. With the money from this campaign, we want to start mass-producing this PSHDL board. We designed it the way that it can be easily mass-produced by using SMD parts for most of the components. And we were also in talks with assembly houses so to ensure that what we want to do or with the price that we're aiming for is realistic. The PSHDL board, as we have shown to you, is just the beginning of something even greater. We have plenty of ideas what you can do with the board um, once it goes into mass production. So we really hope that you're going to support our effort and we would like to thank you for it.